Hey, this is Wes. Over the past few months, I have been using the Threadripper 3970X for all of my projects. My daily tasks include rendering, 3D modeling, and texturing, as well as producing training videos, which include video editing and encoding. This video is an introduction to the rig I am using. AMD provided me with the 3970X CPU, as well as the internals to build my PC. This was the first time I've built a PC, and to be honest, it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. AMD provided me with a 32-core, 64-thread Ryzen 3970X CPU, a TRX40 Zenith Extreme 2 motherboard, and for cooling, the NZXT Kraken X62. They also provided me with a Corsair MP600 1TB M2 drive. For RAM, I went with G-Skill Trident Z Neo 64GB, and to power the rig, I'm using the EVGA Supernova 1000. For the case, I have the Fantex Evolve X, which I would definitely recommend. It's easy to assemble and has great cable management. Here I'm running Cinebench without speeding up the video. I've been really impressed with the speed and performance as well as the multitasking capabilities of the Threadripper 3970X. You can see the 3970X is making light work of this render and, well, ripping through this frame pretty quickly. So the test is completed and here you can see the score. In this example, I am rendering in Blender using cycles on the right side of the screen. I am using a displacement map and tessellating the mesh at a subdivision dicing rate of one pixel. This is producing a lot of geometry, but also a lot of detail. You can also see on the left that I'm able to continue work in Substance Designer and record the screen for this video while the CPU is being utilized for rendering without any interruption in performance. I will also mention that this video hasn't been sped up, so what you're seeing here is the real-time performance of the CPU. The Threadripper 3970X really handles this multitasking well and is a huge leap over the Threadripper 1950 I was using previously. I found myself to be far more productive these last few months as I can launch large renders and continue working in my other 3D applications. That's going to wrap up this quick look at the Threadripper 3970X. I will be producing more art-focused videos demonstrating various workflows as well as showcasing the muscle behind the 3970X. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.